Hey everybody, here's a, uh, a video to help us with some solutions to our second confidence interval quiz. Um, this was one posted from week three. So I, I took a slightly old uh, poll, doesn't really matter, the, the mathematics and the statistics of what we're talking about cross the boundaries of, of time, timeliness. Um, U.S. satisfaction up slightly. Whenever you see the word slightly in the news, just pay attention. Chances are if they say it's up slightly, you can almost guarantee it's never up at all. We'll come more back to that. Uh, to 18%, 18% of Americans are satisfied. Uh, alarm bells are going off. But we'll come back to that again. Um, let's see. Down here, partial Gallup article from today. Let's analyze. Give the 95% confidence interval for the percentage of Americans currently satisfied with the way things are going today, as reported on uh, January 11, 2012, based on the article's data. Okay, well, they already gave us p-hat, 18%. 18% were satisfied. But they also tell you down here, your margin of error is plus or minus 4 percentage points. So they really can't say that it's 18%, like they actually did say in the article, 18%. Not 18% of Americans. 18% of the Americans in your sample are satisfied. In order to extrapolate that out to the entire American population, you have to add and subtract the 4% that is indicated down here. So the le at least 14% are satisfied, and at most 22% are satisfied. Boom. All right. Is it correct to say that the 18% is a slight improvement from the latter half of 2011 when satisfaction levels ranged from 11% to 16%? Explain fully. Assume each of these polls carried the same margin of error and don't forget to use it. Well, okay. If the latter half of 2011 was at 11%, it actually wasn't at 11%. It almost makes you think that they've given you a, a confidence interval here, but they didn't. If you look up at here, they're telling you that it was from 16 up to the 15. I mean, that's what they're, they're reporting, the point estimate. So they're, they're giving you the range of their p-hats, not a confidence interval. Well, this 11 really isn't an 11. It might be as low as 7 or as high as 15. And this 16 really isn't 16, when it could have been a low, as low as 12 and as high as 20. What do you notice about all those? All those intervals overlap. Every one of those intervals overlaps. 16 could be as low as 12 or as high as 20. Those values overlap the 18, which goes from 14 up to, up to um, you know what, let's draw a little picture. This might even be, this might be a good, another good use of the snipping tool. Let's draw a little box around our intervals here. Okay, here we are. So let's add some interval lines. Let's add some error bars, as they often call them. We'll make, them, uh, we'll make them red so they kind of stand out. Maybe fuchsia, why not? Yeah. So 16, uh, let's see, 16, that's about 5. So let's just make this slightly scaled properly. That should probably be, that's probably a little bit too high, but you get the point. There, okay, that's your confidence interval around 16. Here's your confidence interval around 11. And here's your confidence interval around 18. Now they're all going to have the same width, so you have to imagine those as all being 4 percentage points wide. Okay, notice that all those intervals overlap each other, which means you can't tell with certainty at all which P, not my P hat, which P is larger, smaller, equal, or not equal. So in other words, back to the question, is it correct to say? No, it's not correct to say. You can't say that anything has changed. It reminds me of that mathematically literate world um, uh, uh, joke that the unemployment rate has jumped from 7.6 to 7.8%. No, it probably hasn't jumped at all. It hasn't changed one bit statistically significantly. They're within the margin of error each, of each other. Now, number three is an interesting one. Is it correct to say that the 18% is well below 39%? Yes, absolutely well below 39 Because even if you subtract 4 from 39 it only gets down to 35 and 18 plus 4 doesn't get anywhere near. We can go back to our image for that one, too. Where's that 39? No, there is no 39. There is no 39 at all, is there? Well, 39, well, we can, you know what, we can fudge it, though, can't we? We can put a 39. If this is 20, I'm assuming this is 0, although that's not 0, because if that's 11, so this is 9, 11 more would be 31. We're going to call 39 up here. If that is 39, and we take four percentage points off, it is clear that these intervals do not intersect each other. I'll bring it over here in case you're having a hard time seeing it. Let's change the color to green. Okay. There is going to be a minimum gap. This is 35%. <laughs> 
a little bit hard to write with a mouse, but you get the point. 35%. 18 plus 4 is 22%. There is a minimum gap of 13 percentage points right here. Might even be higher. Might even be higher. So the answer to this last one, is it correct to say it is well below 39? Hell yeah, it's well below 39. Because even with the margin of error, it's still, they're still not touching, which means you get two different fishies. Whereas up here, it could all be the same fish. You'll never, you're never going to know. Okay, I hope that helped y'all.